Hello everyone. Welcome to Midas Quick Learning video series. So in this video, we will talk about the chain stiffness. So as we know, when we try to simulate any rehabilitation kind of process, then we need to change the stiffness or the or the section properties of the section as per the actual site condition. So based upon different crack propagation or different degradation of the material, the strength of the section gets reduced and hence we need to simulate those effect so in this video we will try to do that using the chain stiffness properties so for doing that we will take this model which is a kind of a frame model and i will simulate the chain stiffness properties to this beam section 2 which are these center sections so first we will see the results without without applying the stiffness factors and then we will compare it with the applied stiffness factors so we go under the results and check the stress diagram under the construction stage 3 under this applied dead load. So this is the applied dead load and we will check the results corresponding to this load supplied in the CS3. So the stress value at the central beam is coming out to be minus 0.5 sorry minus 0.4 we just yeah it is okay so it is minus 0.4 and now we will simulate the chain stiffness so for doing that we go under the properties tab and here under the section manager we are having the stiffness so we just need to link a boundary group that will be activated in the construction stage so as of now I've created a boundary group named chain stiffness and we will change the properties like you can give different modifications to area and moment of inertia along i x x i y y i z z and even to weight so based upon the simulation you want to do you can just give the factors and the corresponding properties will be changed we click on add so in this way you can see it has been applied and now i need to activate that boundary group in the cs2 so for that i go under the boundary and i will activate this change stiffness add so you can just cross check by going under the CS2 and here you can see the section stiffness scale factor has been applied. Now we will perform the analysis. Now we will quickly check the results. So here in the stress diagram I go under CS3 apply dead load. So you can see the values has changed to minus 0.2 earlier these were minus 0.4. So in this way, this feature becomes very handy when you want to simulate different change properties of the material or the section along the construction stages. And for the rehabilitation process, it becomes very important to simulate these kind of effects. I hope this video was helpful for you. See you in the next.